morning. I'm Mark Scott. My wife Sue and I joined Hope on our first wedding anniversary, April 27, 2014. We began visiting here about 18 months earlier after moving away from our regular church. As we began for, to look for a church to call home, the website information, the potential for us to worship is unknowns, and those beautiful red doors first led us to hope. What we felt and experienced here kept us coming back. Our participation and involvement gradually increased and we began to care less and less about websites, anonymity, and architecture. What excites us about hope now are the blessings in all that we collectively do to support those in need, locally, regionally, and even internationally. The positive energy generated by our dedicated musicians the sound of children in worship, the fellowship with others at church events, the can-do attitude of a host of volunteers and leaders to once again share a night in Bethlehem with our community, just to name a few. As our involvement as hope increased, so has our giving. Yes, we've given more time and more of our talents, but we've also given more, and forgive me for using this word in church, money. We give because we both individually receive blessings from our churches at some of the darkest, lowest points in our lives. The counsel of a wise pastor, now bishop. The comfort of prayers, acceptance, and camaraderie of a men's group. We give because we've also received blessings in disguise. All those times when disappointments turned into fulfillment and sadness turned into joy. We give to bless those who, like us, aren't in a place in their lives to make a financial contribution. We give because our parents showed us that it was important, and now that we're old enough to admit it, they were right. We give because we're called to do it. We've heard the voice of truth telling us that it's for God's glory. We give because the work of hope is important. The missions and ministry provide blessings all around us. We give because we have faith for tomorrow. The gifts we make today will be used to lay a foundation for the future to encourage and develop the youth and children of hope, to start new ministries and expand existing ones. We give as the doxology reminds us to praise God from whom all blessings flow. We acknowledge that our giving, like us, isn't perfect. However, we strive every day to be better financial stewards. On Blessing Sunday, Sue and I will submit our planned contributions for next year. We pray that this giving will demonstrate our gratitude for blessings already received, that it will demonstrate our priorities for the here and now, and that it will demonstrate our faith in God for the future. Thank you.